This is Chinese pod. We have an Olympic lesson for you today. Mm, yes, we do. What are we talking about today, Jenny?、Uh, we are interviewing an athlete. Interviewing an athlete. Yes. And it is, as I say, in our Olympic series for visitors to the Olympics. It's、mm. uh, we've made the elementary lessons here fairly challenging,、yes. but I think this one's not too bad today. No.、Uh, no technical stuff here. Yes, and a lot of words dealing with feelings and emotions. Ah. Good, interesting. So let's listen to the dialogue, listening to、uh, an athlete, and then we'll come back and we'll、um, analyze it. Indeed. 对话第一遍。祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌。谢谢。现在有什么感觉？太激动了。没拿到金牌，失望吗？不，我已经很满意了。第二遍。祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌。谢谢。现在有什么感觉？太激动了。没拿到金牌，失望吗？不，我已经很满意了。第三遍。祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌。谢谢。现在有什么感觉？太激动了。没拿到金牌，失望吗？不，我已经很满意了。Okay, well, translations, shall we? 好的。祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌。Congratulations to you on winning the Olympic bronze medal. 祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌。Congratulations on winning the Olympic bronze medal. 祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌，谢谢。Thanks. 谢谢。Thank you. 谢谢。现在有什么感觉 ？So what are you feeling right now? 现在有什么感觉 ？What are you feeling right now? 现在有什么感觉？太激动了。I'm just so excited. 太激动了。I'm really excited. 太激动了。没拿到金牌，失望吗 ？Ah,、uh, you didn't get the gold medal. Are you disappointed? 没拿到金牌，失望吗 ？You didn't pick up the gold medal. Are you disappointed? 没拿到金牌，失望吗？不，我已经。很满意了。No, actually, I'm very satisfied. 不，我已经很满意了。No, in fact, I'm very satisfied. 不，我已经很满意了。There you go. 嗯。The、uh, the glory, the of emotion winning,、yeah. of winning the bronze. There you go. Now this is good stuff. I mean, this could be. I mean.、Uh, Olympics specific, of course,、yeah. but it could be any sport. And in fact, this kind of vocabulary extends to all sorts、mm. of areas of life. So it's high frequency, and it's worth the treatment. Let's look at the first expression.、Um, we know from other lessons that、yeah. you know when somebody's getting married and you want to wish them congratulations,、mm. you say, 恭喜恭喜、yes, 恭喜 You also say that around、uh, New Year,、yes. you know, when you're wishing people.、Mm. But in this case, we use the expression, 祝贺祝贺祝贺 Now、oh. two fourth tones there. Correct. Now this is kind of interesting. Tell me something about this expression.、Mm. Uh, 祝贺 has similar meaning to 恭喜 but it's used more in the public. Okay. Sphere. Ah.、Uh-huh. Uh, like in this lesson, this is an interview, presumably yes. on TV. Yes.、Uh-huh. Yes. Now, so if you're talking to your family at home, you're more likely to say "gongshi" stuff、yes. like that. Yes.、Mm. Ah,、uh, but what about if a family member receives like a, a, a job promotion? job promotion or something? Ah,、mm. uh, you can say both "gongshi" and "zhuhe."、Okay. But generally, in the public sphere, you're more likely to say. Juhani. Yes. So again, people in in the office and stuff. So official announcements and、mm. stuff. Good expression. I like it. Could we hear it again, please? Sure. Juhe. 
祝贺. Now, uh, the, the bronze medal. 铜牌. 铜牌. Now, tell us about these two, if you would. Mm, the first character, 铜, means bronze. Bronze. And 牌, of course, means medal. Medal. Yes. Okay. Now, so 铜牌, meaning bronze medal. We're going to hear uh, in a few another. minutes about another, about the gold medal, of course. Mm. Uh, now, and of course, the Olympic bronze medal is? 奥运, 铜牌. Now, the verb to, to win or to get or to receive is? 拿, 拿. 拿, mm. and of course, 拿到 indicates that it's happened already. Yes. So, one more time, the full sentence is? 祝贺你。拿到奥运铜牌 Now, another simple sentence, but it's a nice chunk of language here. So, what are you feeling right now? 现在有什么感觉? 现在有什么感觉? Great. Now, it's just the music, the lexus of it, the chunks of mm. language here. Yes. Uh, the now comes first, of course. Yeah. Uh, and then what feeling do you have? Okay. Now, uh, the guy says he's really excited. 太激动了。太激动了。Now, 太激动了。激动了, um, mm. this has, uh, there's a lot of ways of saying excited. Yes. And I wouldn't necessarily translate excited as 激动, 激动 it depends. Uh, yeah. uh, what are the other ways we might say excited? 兴奋, uh, 兴奋, okay. Yes. Greetings everyone and welcome to Chinese Pod Trivia. Our first question is, how long will it take you to become an intermediate Chinese speaker using the Chinese Pod app? Is it A, the rest of your life? B, you should already be an intermediate speaker? C, three months? Or D, Chinese Pod has an app? Uh, you should already be in. Ooh, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, three months. That's right. Head over to ChinesePod.com now to register for your access to over 4,000 lessons. Get the Chinese Pod app now on Google Play or the App Store. Now, that's your, your kind of normal run-of-the-mill excitement. Yeah, fun, that's right? more um, just being ecstatic, Ex happy. Yeah. Uh, whereas, Pleased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dong has more an emotional yes, uh, yeah, yeah. underlining. Yeah, the dong here means literally means movement. Move, yeah. And it has the same metaphorical uh, yes. significance as it does You're in English so to moved. be moved. Yeah. So, I mean, the guy is here, there's the patriotic fervor, there's the, mm. the, the, you know, the effect of winning a medal for your country and all that. So yeah, and also being an athlete, you've yes. trained probably your whole life yes. for this. Yes, indeed. And there's more heart and emotion right. in it. So, ji dong, in this case, it, it's, in, it's a mixture of excitement and uh, and being moved by it. Now, yes. in what kind of context would we, non-athletes, use this expression? Uh, if someone just did something very generous yes. and moving okay. to you. Okay, all right, you so you'd use it in the same way. Yeah. Oh. yeah, and I hope somebody does that, Jenny, yes. for you oh, right after you. this recording. <laughs> so you can feel really ji <laughs> dong. Mm. There you go. Now, uh, here's some more great stuff here. Uh, now, you didn't get them the gold medal. 没拿到金牌. 没拿到金牌. So same verb here. Na -na, na -na, mm. na -na. And the, the gold medal is Jin Pai. Jin Pai. Now Jin the first town is gold. Yes. Good. Now uh so I can just see it. This is classic sort of uh, <laughs> you know sports commentary. Well, mm. you didn't get the gold medal, are you disappointed? Now uh disappointed this is quite interesting phrase. Shi Wang. Shi Wang. Shi Wang, yes. uh, first and fourth, right? Yep. Tell us about those two characters. Mm, very interesting combination. Mm -hmm. The first character, Shi, means loss. Loss. Uh, mm -hmm. And Wang means hope. Ah, uh, I can see. So it's lost The loss hope. of hope. Yeah. Despair yes. kind of thing. Mm. Mm, interesting. Uh, excellent. Now, Shi Wang, I'm not saying despair is excellent. I'm saying this is, this is, this is great vocab. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Shi Wang Ma, mm. meaning are you disappointed? Yes. Great, great, great mnemonic there. So, the loss of hope. So, first and fourth. Let's hear it again, please, Jenny. Shi Wang. 
Shiwang. There you go. Now, uh, the athlete being diplomatic, of mm. course, he's Shiwang. Every athlete, you don't get into an Olympic final if you don't want to win more than anything else、yeah. in the world. But he's being very diplomatic, so he's saying, 不，我已经很满意了。不，我已经。很满意了。Yeah, I'm already literally. I'm kind of already satisfied.、Mm. So the word for satisfied is 满意，满意，满意 Third and first time.、Huh? Mm. Now that's interesting. He takes a nice philosophical view, or at least that's what he says in the public.、Um, yeah. That's what he says. So yeah, 祝贺 You have you know to congratulate people on on in, some form of、mm, achievement. Let's in, listen to that dialogue three more times. 对话第一遍。祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌，谢谢。现在有什么感觉？太激动了。没拿到金牌，失望吗？不，我已经很满意了。第二遍。祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌，谢谢。现在有什么感觉？太激动了，没拿到金牌，失望吗？不，我已经很满意了。第三遍，祝贺你拿到奥运铜牌，谢谢。现在有什么感觉？太激动了，没拿到金牌，失望吗？不，我已经很满意了。Okay, hope that was useful. You could go to Chinese Pod. You should go to ChinesePod.com. Explore this. There are lots more Olympics lessons. There、mm-hmm. are lots more other general lessons that can、yeah. help you. The traveler, the sports fan, or just anyone who wants to learn general vocabulary.、Mm-hmm. This is the stuff you'll see on the TV anyway,、yes. and the kind of stuff you could talk about with your friends if you're practicing in Chinese. And I do recommend that you do seek out opportunities. To actually speak the language. Of course. Now we've done enough speaking for today.、Yeah. Right now, it's time for us to say. 再见,再见 As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number zero six zero five. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/slash zero six zero five, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/slash zero six zero five.